We're here at Media City for the launch of the European Network of Community Reporters and the Institute of Community Reporters. And we thought, you know what? It's about time we gave recognition to people. Up till now, we've been doing it by badges. But actually, let's now create what we the Institute of Community Reporters. We've got, I think, over a thousand community reporters sort of signed up in this country, and I think another 600 in, in Europe. So it's getting towards that critical mass. And in some ways, what we're doing with this launch is to try and get it a little bit above the radar. Pe people like you know it's going on, but it's not well known enough and hopefully we can begin to increase the, the visibility of this network. Uh, I can't feel until the three years it's rocketed and now I feel I'm ready to look for work outside of the first video. Uh, my social life vastly improved very quickly as I met a lot of people around Salford and Manchester who didn't know and groups that I knew nothing about. My name is Barbara Smith, I'm from Liverpool and I'm a community reporter for Toxton. The value of um, Institute of Community Reporters is to broaden networks, bring local issues to local people and get their feelings and their thoughts. My name's Teresa and I'm from People's Voice Media. I think for me, um, it's it offers a framework. Um, it's, it's a place of belonging with clear structures, clear guidelines and a clear route in for opportunity. Yeah, I'm James Powell. I'm uh, Academic Director of an organisation called Pascal Universities for a Modern Renaissance. The added value of the Institute for Community Reporters is it, it will, it will formalise uh, the quality of community reporting. Yep, I'm uh, Bernard Leach and I'm from Chalton in Manchester. Being in an institute, first of all it professionalises it a bit, so when you get a badge it isn't just a random badge, it's actually something that means something. And also you've got different levels with the bronze, silver, gold and platinum, so you know you've got something to aspire to. So I think the fact that it does that and it gives you something to aspire to is, is, is really, really useful. I think also it's very good because it links up different groups of community reporters um, across the country. So you know that if you want to something from North Yorkshire or from Bristol or from Wales or whatever, there are people there you can contact with and, and, and exchange ideas with. So I think it's professionalisation for you personally and for the group as a whole, it enables it to, if you like, get a bigger profile than any individual group of community reporters would get.